Hey y'all, it's me, Yoli D. I'm back with another video. Can I be real with y'all? Yeah, that's the topic of my video today. Can I be real with y'all? I want to be real with y'all because it's a lot of things I've been seeing. I'm years old and um, y'all, we we need to be real. We, we, we need to do some real talk. Listen. There's three things a girl and a woman does wrong when beginning a relationship. One, we get head over heels in love. And some of y'all out there, y'all don't get head over heels. Y'all get head over the mountain. Yes, head over heels in love. Boy, I ain't even thinking about all that kind of love. Y'all already didn't talk about how you ain't going to wash your hand when he touch you. How he touched your leg when he was sitting beside you with his pants. Really, y'all? Really? Okay, I've been there. But I'm going to tell you, that's crazy. That's really crazy um, that we still do that. Women still do that. It's like back in the Michael Jackson era. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He touched my hand. This is cup. This is glove. Y'all got 50 million gloves out there look like Michael Jackson glove. Ain't nobody ever touched it. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, we get head over heels in love. I just watch my grandchildren. I watch other young girls. I watch women even. They're like, girl, look, 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 look. He got on a, he got on a police outfit. He got on a police uniform. Oh, my God, he coming this way. He's coming. This way. We, are, we are losing it, really. We have lost it, really. And I know that God has made us compassionate people. We show compassion. We have empathy, sympathy, every kind of empathy. We have it. Yeah, we're nurturing. Yeah, we are loving, compassionate. Yeah, God gave us all that. But I'm telling you, y'all didn't press the button that take y'all over the mountain and forget about the hill. We so in love. And then when things go wrong, you know what? My husband in the background, more in the yard. I think he knew I was coming in here to talk about some about them. Yeah. Sorry about the noise. I may have to redo this. But anyway, I try to get some in when I think he's farther away from the house. But anyway, I came in the bathroom and closed the door. I thought maybe it'd be quieter, but I forgot to have the skylight up there and yeah, that that ain't working. But anyway, we we get so involved in love over the mountain y'all over the mountain and all we do we daydreaming daydreaming while we daydreaming they out there playing basketball they are there i don't know playing football whatever men and boys do not even think about you you sitting there like is he gonna call me is he not y'all got the little flower is he gonna call me is he not is it gonna come? Is it not? That boy ain't thinking about you. Not like you think about him. So like, chill. Take it easy a little bit. Take it easy. You not even think about you. Then when he call you, you go, oh, I was thinking about you. What were you thinking? Girl, I was eating steak. Eating a hamburger, playing outside, you know. Shooting hoops. <laughs> Y'all don't get mad at me. I've been here a long time. I may not know everything, but I know that. I know that because I did that. And another thing, number two, we put too much into it. And it almost a go, goes along with the first one where we go head over heels in love. We put too much into it. We didn't plan the wedding already. And we just met him. We didn't plan the wedding. We didn't plan how many kids we going to have. I remember when I was little, I said, I want to have a boy and a girl. Girl. We didn't plan the wedding. We got the puppy dog and everything. We got the white picket fence. You know, we daydream. We playing with the dolls. I think that's what messes up. We be playing them dolls. Yeah, I think that messes up. Somebody said it trains us, but sometimes some people don't. Mm -mm, some people don't need to be trained. I'm sorry. Um, okay, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but um, yeah. Mm. Everybody. Mm -mm. Everybody ain't put him for the same reason, you know?
I mean, everybody needs love. I'm talking about the family part. I'm talking about them children. But anyway, y'all, if I'm looking tired, I really am. I really am tired. But, yeah, we put too much into it. We daydream and daydream and when things don't go our way, man, we have it fit. We want to wonder what, what's going on. Like, I had this in my mind. He ain't got that in his mind. As a matter of fact, he ain't ready to get married yet. Chill. Sit back. Watch. Be observant. I always told my, my girls. I, I, I don't ha have a son. But I always told my girls, watch. Be observant. Listen. Listen, that boy might be saying, I want to go with somebody else. You sitting up there talking about the marriage and got the ring on and everything. Pay attention. When I was younger, I was really quiet. And then almost like I felt like I was beat down for being quiet. But I, I was watching. I was listening. Hey, it looked like, um, sound like he don't like me like I think he did. Or like I like him. Okay, move on. Move it forward. Okay. Put too much into it. And another thing we do, number three. We allow things to go on in a relationship that we're not going to be putting up with later. That's what we do. We allow things in a relationship that we're not going to be putting up with later. You call yourself moving in with somebody. Then you, you know, you're all sweet and lovey-dovey. I was just talking to my granddaughter. Y'all sweet and lovey-dovey, you know. I didn't been going with him for five months. I've been going with him, dating him for six months. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing about him. You don't know what you need to know. I can put on a show for a long time. I can be nice and sweet. Quite other few people can too. But when the ring and go on the finger or you carry her across that threshold, man, things change. Things change. Underwear on the floor, socks on the floor, hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, y'all. Wherever he take the clothes off, that's where they stay. You gonna pick them up? Girl, you better not pick up them clothes. Okay, hey, um, sir, um, sir, um, sir, like, mm-hmm, I ain't mama, I ain't being sassy or mean, but I'm not mama. The things I do, I do for love, but I am not finna pick up your clothes when you just stepped out of them in the hamper right over there. No, it is not gonna work, y'all, 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 y'all. I'm having fun with y'all, but I'm being for real. For real. These three things, y'all. I know y'all can think of other things, but these three things came to the top of my head, you know, about what we do when we begin in a relationship. We just take it too far instead of chilling. And as a matter of fact, we don't want to wait for the man. We're going to go find him ourselves. That's why... We make so many mistakes, and that's why things don't work out for us, because we don't consult God. We don't consult God to find us who we um supposed to be with. You know, we go get who we want, you know. We go get who we want, and then we try to make it work. It's not going to work, because if anybody knows compatibility, it is God. Because sometimes all we looking at is the outside. Y'all, we need to be checking out all that rotten stuff on the inside that he covering up. Hmm? Yeah. All that rotten stuff that he covering up. I'm not saying everybody like that, but y'all. And it's for the female, too. All that rotten stuff you covering up. And then you find out, hmm, he ain't what I thought he was. And then instead of us trying to move forward, we just try to stay there and make it work. That's why you allow things that you wouldn't allow when you get hooked up. That's what happens, and then you living with that. Then you living in misery. Then you unhappy. Then you can't smile around family. And then you fake smiling around family. Then you fake smiling around other people. And let's be real. Real. I'm gonna tell you, when I, when I, when I, when I was 18, I started writing out a list. I, I started writing out a list of God, for real, y'all. I didn't, my mom and dad didn't tell me to do this. Nobody told me to do it. I like, hey, if I can write a letter to Santa Claus, hmm, I can write a lot of letter to God. So I wrote a letter to God. I list all the things that I wanted in my relationship because every relationship that I had, he played me. See, because I had respectable parents and I had both of them home. And they were both in the church. 
And let me tell you, not only because of the church, but because of their morals. Even without church, they, they'd have been like this. It was a certain time I had to come home. But um, when that time came, I was in the house, boyfriend still out, out there, one, two, three o'clock in the morning. I had to be home 12, drop me off, <laughs> go back to partying, go back to the party. Y'all know what I meant. Go back to the party. You know, and I'm sitting home and they cheating on me. And the only reason I found out is because a cousin came back and told me. See, those are the things you just got to drop. Like, hey, you keep letting it go. I'm going to forgive you this time. I'm going to forgive you this time. I'm forgive you. What, what, what make you think the marriage going to work if the relationship ain't working on the outside of the marriage? Y'all ain't getting on it. Y'all ain't preaching. But preaching in me because I am a preacher. <laughs> but let me tell you something. We got to wake up. We got to wake up. For real, we got to wake up, y'all. Because things, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I told my husband, I said, if I had to go back out there today to find me a man, girl, girl, I'll be fasting, girl, I'll be tearing at the altar. I'm not saying there's no good man out there, y'all, but let me tell you something. If you want the right one, get on your knees. That's the best way to go. If you want the right one, get on your knees. So I just wanted to come over here and tell you about the three things I was sitting there thinking about, the three things that the women do, the girls do. Start the relationship out. I made a lot of mistakes, man. And I, I, I mean, when I first, when I first so-called fell in love, I thought I was, and that didn't work. Man, my heart was broken in a thousand pieces. I was more broken than humped and dumped, for real. I was more broken than humped and dumped it. All the king horses and all the king men couldn't even put mine back together. It took a long time. It couldn't put humped it together. I know they weren't going to find my pieces. But God did. And I'm so glad he did. Because now you look around and you see, you look at all the guys that you uh, used to date. And you're like, man, thank God. But listen, we ain't going to get into that. <laughs> We're not going to get into that, but I just wanted to come on and let you know, y'all, be careful, be watchful, and be observant, listen, sit, quit talking so much, listen, be quiet, listen, listen to the conversation, listen to what somebody's telling you, everybody ain't lying to you, when they come to you and tell you something, everybody ain't lying to you, listen, even if you don't take it to him then, listen, watch, see if it come true. See if it is true. It'll come. Because everything done in the dark going to come to the light. It's going to be revealed. All right, y'all. Let me get off of here. My husband went. Not, okay. At the end, now now you don't hear the lawnmower. I'm at the end. Now you don't hear the lawnmower. Okay. Okay. I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Love, peace, joy.